Aortic endovascular therapy has always been interdisciplinary. At the beginning, interventional radiologists had the expertise with catheters and guide wires. Vascular surgeons had the referral of the patients with aortic disease. So it was interdisciplinary from the early beginning. And it's still interdisciplinary. I think there will be a further decrease in invasive therapy. One focus is treatment of ruptured aortic aneurysms. And there will be a debate. It will be shown that endovascular treatment is the first choice for the patients. I believe the future for EVAR treatment of ruptured AAAs is bright because of increasing evidence that that's the best way to treat ruptured AAAs and because there are increasing numbers of devices and techniques like chimney grafts which will make more patients amenable to endovascular treatment than in the past. We were the first in Amsterdam to do a randomized trial looking at uh, ruptured aneurysms, comparing EVAR with surgery, with open surgery. And we found, like the improved trial which came after us and the French trial which came after us, that there is not strong evidence that EVAR is better than open surgery, which was quite surprising to a lot of people. And the debate is now, why should we deny the, the data and why should we do EVAR on all patients? Well, the evidence is not very strong for that. That's what the debate is going to be about. Well, regarding the recent randomized trials comparing EVAR with open repair for the treatment of ruptured AAAs, obviously this is still a controversial topic despite the trials. Uh, recently, three trials have been published and presented, the ECAR, the AJAX, and the improved trials, and all were legitimate randomized controlled trials which reached the conclusion that EVAR is no better than open repair. But in our opinion, all three trials had flaws. Uh, in the ECAR and AJAX trial, the sickest patients that would not be suitable for an open repair were eliminated from the trials, and those are precisely the patients, in our opinion, that would benefit most from EVAR. And in the improved trial, again, they showed no benefit to an EVAR strategy, but about half of the patients randomized to an EVAR strategy were actually treated by open repair. So we think that an intention to treat analysis is flawed and that the data from at least the improved trial actually shows the superiority of EVAR. My advice would be for interventional radiologists and for vascular surgeons to leave their egos behind and start working together because only as a team I think this can be a great success we both have our own worlds and both bring new information and new technology from both of our worlds. That is the future, I think.